Donald and the Breakaways Donald and Douglas, the Scottish twins, did not mind what job they did. Coaches or trucks, it was all the same to them, which meant, as often as not, that they pulled trucks, since the big engines all disliked them. You don't really like them, do you? James asked in amazement one day. Oh, it's all work, remarked Douglas. If we did not do it, certainly nobody would. James marvelled. He hated trucks himself, but he had to admit that Donald and Douglas managed to make them behave better than anyone else did. The secret, of course, was that the trucks had not forgotten an incident when Douglas had smashed the spiteful brake van. It had been an accident, really, but no one told the trucks that, and they still thought that Douglas had done it on purpose. Keep on the right side of those two, the trucks have said to each other when either of the twins were about. One day, Donald had to take empty trucks to the other railway and bring back loaded ones. The empties behaved well, and when Donald reached the big station he was feeling good. We've got those trucks slicked into shape, he congratulated himself. What he didn't realize was that the loaded ones he was about to take back were visitors and had never been licked into shape by anyone. What's this? They screeched when Donald backed onto them. We want a proper engine, not an old-fashioned steam kettle. They should, of course, have known better, but then trucks never do. Old-fashioned? snorted Donald. I'll teach you a lesson. Take that! I gave the trucks a hard bump. The trucks sniggered. He's cross, they whispered. Let's have some fun. They behaved well for a while, and Donald began to think he had them under control. Like the trucks, he should have known better. By the time they reached the workstation, an axle box on one of the trucks had run hot, and they had to shunt that one off the train. At the next station, the guard had to fasten a brake rod which had slipped on, accidentally on purpose. One delay followed another, and Donald became crosser and crosser. Stupid things, he scolded, but the trucks didn't care. What does he know about it? They asked each other. We're modern. We're not out of date like his sword. Steam kettle. Ha! At the top of Gordon Hill, Donald stopped so that the brakes could be checked along the train. Unfortunately, he restarted more quickly than he meant to, and the jerk broke an old coupling hook ten trucks from the end. Fitting the snatch, Donald's fireman looked back. They were already a little way down the hill, but coming after them and gathering speed on the slope, he saw the last ten trucks. We've got to keep ahead of them, Donald, he said. Quick now. I just hope there's nothing at the platform at the station. Oh, we're supposed to stop there and leave some of these trucks, objected Donald. Can't help that, replied the driver. If those trucks catch us, we'll even stop earlier than that, because it'll knock us off the rails. What are we waiting for then, asked Donald, and put on speed. It was touch and go for a while. If the guard's brake hadn't been holding the breakaway slightly, Donald could have not kept ahead, but he managed it just. They saw Edward Station in front, and whistling loudly, Donald raced towards it, while the trucks followed, screaming with fright. Quickly, the signalman summoned up the situation. He sent the line ahead as fast as he could, and Donald clattered safely by. Then came the trucks, but the signalman saw with relief that they were slowing down by the time they reached him. With a groan of relief, they stopped just beyond the station platform. The signalman sent out an obstruction danger warning, and set all his signals to stop. Then, he waited. When he was sure that the trucks had stopped, Donald stopped too, half a mile further on. We shall need permission to go back, the driver told the fireman. Need back and clear with signalman, please. When he had permission, Donald was able to go carefully back towards the trucks. He bumped them fiercely. Now will you behave? He growled. This time the trucks had scared even themselves. Uh, yes, we will, they quivered uncertainly. And Donald finished his journey with no more trouble at all.